Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build a landing page really fast and easy and without an extra effort, definitely you need to use the website building platforms. And in this video, you're gonna find out every single piece of information that you need to build your own landing page really fast and easy. Because the platform that I want to show you in this video is absolutely great, powerful tool to make that happen like in minutes, literally in minutes. Before I started to show you all the things, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video. You can easily get access to this platform through that link. Uh, be our guest, use that link. And uh, when you're going to press that, that link, you're going to jump to uh, start page of this uh, of this platform. Then you need to press the start a free trial. And after you press the start free trial, the platform itself will ask you to choose a plan first. But you, it's up to you. It's up to your business. It's up to size of your business. And uh, you have a 14 day trial. And that's enough time to build everything up. I don't want to make this video like one hour or two hour long or uh, more like centuries long. Uh, I respect your time and I wanna, don't want to waste it. So let's jump straight to business and I'm going to show you everything. That's how platform looks from inside. You have landing pages, sites, depending on uh, what you're trying to build. Conversion tools, leads, brand images, lead magnets, integrations, domains and support. This is the main menu and you need to press create new landing page. You'll be on the page with the templates really cool build templates that allows you to save a lot of time on editing and in here in, in this spot you need to be as specific as possible and you can sort all the pages by type by industry by style and even color or conversion rate most popular and the newest let's build um, this one because all the editing features are pretty the same and when you're going to find out how to move things, how to edit things, uh, you're going to get an idea of how to build it by yourself. First, you need to give your page a name. You can change it later. Uh, but for the showcase, it's not actually matters. But it does matter if uh, you have your own brand, you have your own uh, name of your, or of your business and you want to uh, build your brand up. So layout sections, widget styles and settings. This is the left hand menu and uh, those all uh, all those buttons you will use to build everything up. Uh, redo, undo, preview. Uh, I need to say that all the pages that build with this tool are responsive and adaptable to any platform that you can open it on mm, like mobile desktop or tablet doesn't matter your page will look great your page will be efficient and so on so layout uh, we have the layout we have the list of the sections that you have on your um, on your uh, website and your landing page so there's body and footer and you can add a section straight from here and you jump into this button uh, here there are a lot of interesting tools like logos, hero features and services, and so on and so on, testimonials. Uh, so it's up to you what you're going to use. Uh, if you didn't found the correct template of a section, you can use uh, blank sections and everything drag and drop, as I told you, so you can easily drop it here. We're going back to layout and you see that about this about page, you can delete from this spot. Or you can press this three dots button, edit section settings, add section above or below, duplicate, copy or delete. I want to delete this section. So we have the list. Yeah, uh, we see that th this blank page is under the footer and it's not going to be like that. So we're just grabbing it and moving it around. When you're going to press, uh, press to some of the sections, you can see the section style and you can see what do you have in the section. So we have the headline and we have the third column. We can add column or row if we need so. Uh, that's why now you know where to find all those things. Section style. When you're going to press it, you see that there's a image background image and I want to change it 
that's what I'm going to do right now. You can use the pictures that you uploaded for your previous projects. If you have some, you can use premium images from Shutterstock. You can buy them here. You can search it with the keywords or you can upload it straight from your computer. And that's what I'm going to do. OK, the picture is there. Uh, the picture is not uh, is not so great quality as I expected, but it doesn't matter. Actually, it matters if you're building uh, everything like for uh, for sure, uh, you need to take care about the quality of the pictures. And as I told you, you can buy them from Shutterstock. Uh, but this picture is pretty OK to show you that everything works really fast and easy. I want to use the image color overlay. This is a very great feature. I'll show you how it how it works. If you're going to change the opacity. Now, let's use the white color. Let's use the gray color. Dark gray. OK, yeah, that's cool. I like it. I'm going to change the color of this text straight here. And everything is readable. The picture is there. And this is a really great tool if you want to play around with, uh, with a picture. You can also, from this menu, you can use this automatically shaped uh, sections. You can use 50%, 75, 90 or full arrow border. I don't like to use that. Actually, that's pretty it. Uh, everything that you need to take care of uh, in each section, sizing, alignment and so on and so on, padding. You can play around with all that. But in general, uh, if using a template to build your own page, it's pretty enough to uh, just change some things here. You see that there's a background color and I'm sure that it's not the color of the section. Yeah, you see there's no color here. So we're going to go to styles and we see the page background color. If we're going to remove that, now we have the transparent, uh, transparent background, but I want to I want to use this color that I used to uh, to overlay and right now it's pretty it's pretty in one style. So the next thing is widgets. If you're using the blank templates, let's make this yeah, this section a little bit bigger and we go into widgets. Uh, there are a lot of them, but if we going to press show less we see that those eight is actually pretty enough to build everything up. And I want, for example, the video to be here and I want a button to be here, uh, like get a free plan. Yeah, you see this button is inactive. We're going to talk about in seconds because this is very important. And you see this divider. Uh, when we applied this section, we saw that there are two columns here, so you can reshape all the elements just dragging this, um, moving this line, moving this divider. All right. I don't want this button to be on the top. I want this button to be in the center of this block. So I'm dropping here the spacer and I'm just moving it to the shape that I want. And that's cool. And that's really, really fast. So in any landing page, you have text image and text, image, video and interactive elements like buttons and forms. And this is actually the way how you interact with your customers, with your visitors. Uh, this is very important uh, because um, you need to take the contact information of your customers. You need to you need to get the information and that's the way how you can make it. So you need to add the click event to each button on your uh, layout on your landing page. What's going to be no link option and your button will be in the red box. You can open a pop up. You can open a Calendly pop up, jump to a page section, link to landing page and to external URL. But in the most cases, it's going to be the pop up. You can create new or you can select from the list pop up form and edit the pop up. 
One of the most important parts of this, uh, of course, you can change the color, you can change the fonts, you can change the text, everything is happening with this added section settings. You can duplicate, copy or add some sections here. Uh, but the most important thing is added integrations. How are you going to get lead notifications? It's going to be dropped to your uh, inbox of your email or you can add an integration and switch on integration with external email marketing service like ConvertKit, MailChimp, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign and so on and so on. If you don't have, if you know nothing about them, I suggest you to find out more because uh, those are very powerful tools that will um, skyrocket your business, really. Uh, some of them are mm, for free, like some plans are for free. Uh, some of them are mm, uh, paid options, but those are really really powerful tools if you don't want to pay some money for those tools you can integrate everything with the zapier and for example google sheets is pretty pretty cool to get all lead notifications uh, all your new leads will drop to your google sheet uh, if you plan to run your business definitely you need to use the crm if you plan to get like tens or hundreds leads per day per month um, you better use uh, it's better to use the CRM system. So it's clear. Fields. Uh, you see there's only email. You yeah, enter your email address to get your free workout plan. I suggest you to use the first name and email. Uh, and it's enough fields to fulfill. Not more. Don't use more fields than, than two because people are lazy and they don't want to fulfill everything. Uh, so it's better to use two of them. If you promise to uh, those your visitors to send some information, you can add a lead magnet. It can be a PDF, for example, with uh, like workout plan, send uh, my workout plan. And, and it, that can be a PDF with a workout plan. You can add this lead magnet here. And um, what's going to happen? Uh, next, like default lead pages, thank you page, you can build external landing page with all your styles, with all your branding uh, to say thank you to the customer that left um, information or it can be external URL and that's very useful feature if you're selling something and you can make upsells and cross sales and down sales. Uh, it's a little bit about internet marketing and e-commerce. Great features. You can add a lead magnet here, I told you already, and that's pretty it, except the settings. Uh, let's go to the settings. I'll show it to you. SEO. Uh, if you want your page to be visible to search engine machines, definitely you need to type in all the titles, description and keywords. If you don't want search engines to index this page, you need to switch on this flag. Uh, social, if you want to share a link to your landing page to some Facebook or other um, social media platforms, you need to take care about this picture because that how it will look in, uh, in the social media. Analytics, definitely if you run business uh, seriously, you need to get the analytical information to make correct decisions and to know in which direction to run. So Google Analytics tracking ID, Facebook pixel can be applied here and here you can change the language of your page. So that's pretty it guys. That's pretty it. Under 20 minutes we made uh, we made a start like simple landing page. Of course it's simple landing page. There's no um, big amount of information. There's no copywriting. Uh, but nobody except you can describe your business better. And uh, definitely you need to pass all those steps that I showed you to build everything up. But the purpose of this video is to show you that everything is simple, everything is drag and drop, and you can get a lot of customization on, on this platform. This is a great tool. As for my opinion, this is one of the best tools in the world and you can use this tool for your own purposes. Um, so. Find the link in the description panel of this video, jump to this platform, start a free trial and start building your landing page. I wish you good luck. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed uh, and I hope this was really useful because um, I tried to make simple short video with a maximum value. Thanks one more time. 
user links. And uh, I wish you good luck. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.